welcome to Starter and Review. My name is Andre C. I am your co-host, and with great with me here is my co-host, Melball. How you doing, Melball? I am doing amazing. What an end to the tournament. I can't wait to get started on talking about this, Andre. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. It like I like I you like you said, it was a great end to a to me, a spectacular tournament throughout. I don't think there was a bad night of wrestling outside of maybe night 20 because there was only two two five star matches, and I can't fault that. I can't fault the tournament for that. But I had such a great time watching watching all the these women do such a great job with everything that they were doing. And this the way it was a long show to cap it off. I will say that. And with who the winner mentioning it was a four hour show at the end. It wasn't quite as much for us because everything was cut up a little bit. But 13, 13 matches plus the coronation ceremony after the after the five star finals. So. It, it was a it was a big show. It took me a couple of days to get through watching it all. Plus, I, had, I have to watch it while I'm at work too. So, <laughs> I actually was that person who was like very very organized about watching everything up until yesterday when I realized I was only three matches deep into this thing and mm-hmm. I had to catch up on the rest of it. I literally finished the finals match during my lunch break today, and I it was a great way to spend my lunch break. I'll tell you that right now. Hey, I mean, that's better than me. I finished the last match two hours before we're coming on to do this. <laughs> uh-huh. Hey, it, it, your, your memory is going to be very fresh for that match. It's sharp. <laughs> All right. So we are going to get into the final night, night 21, the, fi- the finals of the five-star Grand Prix. And we, we are starting... Ooh, uh, wrong, ba- <laughs> wrong banner. Cut stuff off. All right, here we go. <laughs> so we are starting with one of my favorites, Saida, taking on one of your favorites, Mariah. Yeah, yeah. And what a heavy hitting match. I and mean, did we really expect any less coming from no. both of these women? Mirai coming in this year and really establishing herself. I mean, she came in like a quiet riot, is what I, I describe her as. The very the much com- so opposite of Thecla, who's just loud and out there and the high speed kind of person. She was kind of the smiley one who was just sitting there like, Hey, I'm powerhouse. How are you? And yeah, but Oh, one good comment. If you notice mm-hmm. with the names of this, t- on this show, I have put the point totals where the they're at on the final night. So in this night um, to this match, neither women can technically win this match. Yeah. No or win this tournament by winning this match, because Mariah would only get to 15, which ties Julia's current point to 15. Mm-hmm. Even if Julia loses, she is facing Suzu, Suzu, if she does lose, she's facing Suzu Suzuki, who's at 14 and would get the win. If they yeah. did a draw, uh, Julia would move to 16 points. So mm-hmm. both of these women are not eligible to win, but it was still a good match throughout. And like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Saeed getting to really work with a veteran like Mirai. I think mm-hmm. both women just, it was, a, it was, again, like you said, a very hard hitting affair. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In the end, though, Mirai was able to submit Ida with that funky little submission thing. I, You're better like with the names, man. I don't honestly know the name of this one, but it's kind of like a half surfboard. Like, she doesn't mm-hmm. have, like, all, but it's like she's pulling with the one arm and the one leg and with kind of like the knee in the back and then like, pulling mm-hmm. back. So it's like a half surfboard. And, yeah, it was uh, quite a good match. Mirai does end up with 15 points, but again, only ties Julia, who does have a match later on. The worst she can do is not point, but then her opponent would actually get to 16. So Mirai is mathematically eliminated from this match because, as was determined, countouts get you is considered a draw, so both person get points. And so it's just, it's going. Mirai, sadly, even though she had a wonderful match here, getting the win is eliminated. Mm -hmm. But what an opportunity for her being, this is her first tournament coming out of the gates and coming up to tie with the finalists. Like, yeah. With 15 15 (laughs) points is nothing to sneeze at. Like that's a real, like that, like that is a really great like position. You're one of the top finishers. I think Mm -hmm. actually the second place finisher, 
by the end of the night, I think. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, she's the second place finisher, I think, or third. One of the two. I'll let, I will let you know as we move on. But we yeah, she placed very high for her first tournament. But again, Mariah is a very experienced professional wrestler, though that is the other thing. So her experience has really carried her in this. But yeah, did not get a chance to uh, win this one out. We are moving on to the second match of the evening. It is, it is Natsupoi taking on Mina Shirakawa. And again, Natsupoi with 12, Mina with, with 8. Your minimum number you would need to be a, in a contender would be 14 points coming into the night. Mm-hmm. And uh, neither of these women were, were able to uh, point up the right thing. But this match actually was very, very enjoyable, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, both Again, Battle of the Cosmic Angels. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, like, teammate versus, teammate versus teammate. I really thought, great job. Again, mm-hmm. like... Mina Shirakawa, she just she just zeroes in on people's knees, man. Like just just wrecks them for that finisher she has of the figure four, and that really you could see it by the, towards the end of this match, just really limping on that knee, like mm-hmm. like it was really being worked over. But again, Natsupoi with just so much such a such a beautiful move set in my opinion we yeah, talked yeah. about her on the last episode that her kneeling spin kick i it just i i've never seen anybody do a kick quite as well performed as that one is mm-hmm. with the theatrics to it and then the kick itself is usually pretty dang hard mm-hmm. um but just both these women just killing each other um but mina shirakawa Loving that dragon screw leg whip in this in this one too. Really, really, really dialing up that Tanahashi, I would say, and really working that knee because she, she got a dragon screw off the top rope, and then yeah, up, yeah, and then followed up with another before applying the figure four leg lock. And Natsupoi had nowhere to go, and she she had to tap out, and she did mm-hmm. lose this match. So Natsupoi does end the tournament with twelve points. Great showing. Don't get me wrong. 12 points is a great showing. That means you got six wins. That is a great, great place to be. And Mina Shirakawa with 10, meaning five wins for her. Again, nothing to sneeze at. You can't can't get mad at somebody for for, for that many wins. It's it, Not everybody can win in this tournament. It happens. People are going to lose. But, yeah, I got a wonderful match from the two of them. I have to agree. Everything you said there, um, this match was – very much so. Um, I, I felt very personal um, from mm-hmm. start to finish. Um, I definitely felt um, a sense of a more sense of urgency out of Mina than I did of Nasupoi in regards to wanting to win, um, based on obviously her her working and and getting that leg targeted and stuff like that. But I think she knew, like like we obviously knew, that both of them were already mathematically eliminated going into yeah. this night, and neither one of them could change that. I think what Mina did in this situation was turn her attention to what it is that Natsupoi has that she does not, which is the goddess um, of stardom championship with Tam Nakano. I think that this opportunity, this win over Natsupoi, um, sets her and potentially Unagi um, Say- Sayaka up for a potential further rivalry um, potentially with her and um, against Sayaka against Natsupoi and Tam Nakano chasing the goddess of uh, stardom champions. I wouldn't be mad about that. But to the point, um, actually I know I read it on Twitter. Mina Shirakawa has said she is determined to make her way into going after that world of stardom, the world of stardom mm-hmm. championship. Mm-hmm. Uh, she has made intentions that she, and she plans her, one of her intentions is to become the leader of cosmic angels is another thing she said in this, in the same, in the same statement, she wants to take the leadership and she wants to be the, be the champion soon. So, I mean, Tam Nakano, obviously one of, of my favorites and obviously one of yours as well, but, mm-hmm. um, like from when I've started watching and at the end of December of uh, last year, um, you have seen, like I had mentioned with my Sakurai, my Sakurai was a part of the cosmic angels. There was no growth. There was no development. Her, her ability did not get any better. I actually personally thought that she was actually getting worse. Her Hmm. switch up to join Donna Del Mondo was an incredible turnabout. And look at how positively we have talked about her. 
Um, that being said, is that maybe speaking to um, that there is a lack of leadership happening within the cosmic angels that maybe needs to be reevaluated? Um, I yeah. don't know how long Tam Nakano has been the leader of the cosmic angels. So, you know, maybe it Not is sure. time for a bit of a switch up, you know, with her focusing so much on that Sepoy right now. You know, she might not have the time to focus on the other cosmic angels. So maybe it would be a good opportunity for them to to kind of throw that wrench into there. Yeah, it, it it's and I can see it being like I, I know every year they have points where they draft people from other teams mm -hmm. and you leave your team. So like, could this be a position in a way to for her to put Mina to push Tam out me in a pause as a possibility. Oh, new faction. Yeah, I, no push like push I'll Tom push out to, to another team, and then mm -hmm. if she can get Tom to be drafted to another team, could she be the one to take that position? That that is another question because she said she says mm -hmm. she wants to be the leader. So it, it's it could you be never you know. never know. And as I look at the the Cosmic Angels team, it shows Tom Nakano, Mina Shirakawa, and Nagi Sayaka as three founding members back in November 14th of 2020. And it shows her as the leader. It doesn't show anybody else with the leader mark at any point. So I think Tom Nakano has been the leader the entire time. Hmm, interesting. So we might see some upheaval in Cosmic Angels or could result in maybe Mina Shirakawa leaving the Cosmic Angels if she can't take the leadership it, that's another possibility too i mean i know some couple places here that would definitely like to hire her if she's looking to do a north american tour or just headed to another team like maybe mm -hmm. she might have success with another team maybe she joins a, maybe she joins an outside faction like prominence and goes like as a, almost independent you never know she, it could be anything it, you, there's there's many possibilities what can go forward with Mina Shirakawa and cosmic angels themselves so mm -hmm. all i know is that i have a lot of faith in their creative departments so whatever it is that they're planning give it to us we're good we're ready for it please